All right, what's going on, buddy? Episode 73. What, how are my buddies doing this morning, buddy? Let's go. How are we doing, guys? We're all we're doing good. It's Thanksgiving Eve Eve. That's Thanks- crazy to me. Thanksgiving Sorry. Eve. And it's Black Friday Eve. Eve, Eve, Dos. Eve. Uno, do, no, tres. Tomorrow we got picks. Oh, yeah, we do. We, we got, got picks, picks tomorrow. We got, we got picks tomorrow, and then we got picks on Friday. Back oh, to yeah. back. What are you guys having for Thanksgiving? The traditional turkey, mashed potatoes, everything. Any favorite Thanksgiving foods before we get into the topics here? Green bean stuffing. casserole. Stuffing? Stuffing. Is that your Fra- number one? Uh, I'd say the stuffing that's in the turkey. Oh, yeah, that's a game changer. You got to stuff the turkey. Well. You got to stuff the turkey? You got to oh, stuff, yeah. stuff Are you, you going to stuff the turkey? Well? Have you decide how you're going to cook it yet? I don't know. My sister was watching in the pit yesterday. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> really? Yeah, she said, uh, we were all saying you have to stuff the turkey. Okay. She texted me. She said, FYI, you don't have to stuff the turkey <laughs> before you cook it. It's actually better if you don't. Really? Wow. Well, I think that, well, that actually, now that I hear that, that actually would make sense because if you theoretically stick the stuffing in a cold turkey, oh, I think it's in there for six hours, you'd probably burn it. I th- no, yeah, I think you're supposed to put the stuffing in after. You after, cook it. right? Yeah. Yeah, and then it like sits in and it like. Yeah, I think that's what my nana does. Hopefully, none of the viewers made a turkey yesterday because yeah. of us. They would have uh, fouled it up. All way. right, we did not advise you to do that. We are just consultants. Doesn't yeah. mean we're right. <laughs> Tommy, terrific. Yeah, yeah, Tom yeah. Brady. Are you still pissed that we didn't keep him? Are you I still guys pissed? Doing your picks last I night. didn't watch. Uh, I don't want to fucking about ask that. me. It was four Me and fucking. Johnny had it right. It was four fucking points. It was in Tampa. They should have fucking... I'm going to tell you right now. I'm taking the Chiefs next week against the Bucks. I'm calling that already. Calling the kettle black. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, so what happened last night? Did anyone watch the game? No. I no. watched the highlights. Watched yeah. a little bit. I will say that play for Mike Evans was beast mode. Yeah. He had, like, three guys on him. He had no business getting in the end zone. And, like, he literally dragged himself. Like, literally, like, sled pulled himself into the end zone. Damn. So AB at 13 targets too. You know what I'm gonna say? I'm gonna say this right now. I think it's hurting that team having him on. And we'll just explain. He's forcing it too much to Antonio Brown. 13 targets when you have that many guys. Eight catches. I'm just saying. You think he's forcing it? I think Brady Antonio was off. Brown. I mean, you can't, throw, you can't throw the ball more than 15 yards. 212 passing yards. Brady didn't look that hot last night. Mm-hmm. Didn't look that hot. I'm sure Arians will have something to say in the parking lot having a burger. How do the Rams look? They look good. Yeah. I mean, that Rams defense is nasty. How did my guy Cooper Cup do? Very well. Yeah? Yep. Or his numbers? Wow. Uh, Cooper like Cup, 11 receptions, 145 yards, no touchdowns. Uh, Robert Woods, 1 TD, 12 receptions, 130 yards. Damn. We got uh, Baltimore, the Ravens got two of their RBs, two of their top running backs. Coronavirus! On the COVID list. I'm telling you, this shit is real! Again, it seems coincidental that this stuff comes out on Monday. I know. Mark, you going to tell me they don't weren't positive on the game? Please. Yeah. We got Mark Ingram and J.K. Dobbins will not oh, play shit. Thursday. <laughs> Who do they got? Uh, Gus Edwards. Are they playing Steelers Thursday night? Uh, Gus Edwards? They, can't, they yeah, can't play. They're automatically ruled out, aren't they? No. Rules, the rules don't matter. They're not canceling a Thanksgiving game. No, no, no. Not canceling the game. So oh, those guys can't yeah. play. They tested yeah. positive. They're out. Yeah, Gus they Edwards going to start. Yeah, Gus Edwards going to start for them. Gus Edwards? Yeah. Never heard of him. He's good. He's, he's like their third down back, kind yeah. of kind of gets in there with supposed carries with Dobbins and Ingram. All right, then we got Buffalo Bills tight end diagnosed with heart condition. That's terrible. That's Tommy nice. Sweeney diagnosed with a serious heart condition as a result of COVID. Shit is real. Uh, the, 20, the 25-year-old was drafted in 2019 to the Bills and was originally put in the COVID list back in October. After being tested by a cardiologist, he has been diagnosed to have microcarditis. Is that what you're That's saying? That's the same thing that fucking Erod had, I think. According to experts, this condition causes your heart to shut down, closing off the oxygen to the rest of the body. Obviously, he'll miss the rest of the season, but he has high hopes to return next season. We got women's MMA fighter says she tasted the other girl's blood. What, what the fuck? During the brutal <laughs> MMA match... Kayla Harrison didn't just beat her opponent, but actually beat her to the point to the point in which her opponent's blood wasn't just on the map, but on Harrison's face as well. In an interview following the fight, Harrison said that she felt so bad for her opponent and didn't understand why the ref wasn't stopping the fight. She said it was like 
a slip and slide in the cage because of all the blood. It was disgusting. Damn. She I also mean. made a comment about how she has a habit of licking her lips, and at the end of the fight, she licked her lips and tasted blood. <laughs> Only problem is she wasn't bleeding, so the blood couldn't have been hers. All right, next subject. Enough blood for one day. That's nasty. That's that fucking is, gross. That is fucked up. Gross. I didn't know they were still having MMA fights. Gross. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's... Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's too much money. It's too much money. Every weekend? I mean, Dana White literally didn't want to do a damn thing about that. Like, they have two locations that they do fights in. They do one in Fight Island in Abu Dhabi, which, and then they do one in Vegas. In the UFC, like, they have, like, a complex. Kind and of so, like how NBA has the Disney. Yeah, they kind of have their bubbles. And so uh, everyone yeah, they goes, got the bubbles. They yeah. got the girls fucking dancing. That's what they got. You come in, you quarantine for like two weeks, and you, you train while you're training for your fight, and right. then you interesting. fight. Interesting. Yeah. Very interesting. And Johnny, the next topic Johnny brought up to me, Blake Snell might be out of Tampa. Tampa? Yeah, MLB I mean, if I was him, I'd want out. Well, it's not him. It's the Rays. MLB reported last night the Rays are looking for options to trade him. Do you yeah. think that I, I'm the Red Sox. I go all in on him. <laughs> that's Red why Sox. Cash pulled him in the World Series. Yeah, I mean, that's the only thing that I was a little hesitant about when they brought in Heimblum. Was he going to do the same thing? But... I don't want him turning us into the fucking Rays. He came from Tampa. Uh, okay. Bench coach, they already hired him. Who did they hire? A uh, guy from the Cubs, Will. Will Venables, former outfielder for the Padres. Uh, yeah. What do you think about that picture? I don't mind it. I yeah. like it. Really I, think they, I think they interviewed him for the actual job, too. Yeah, Venables are really highly What do you mean? Why wouldn't they have interviewed him? Uh, no, I'm saying they did interview him. The head coaching job. They interviewed him oh, for the hired for the head coaching job. Yeah, he was the uh, Cubs first base coach for years. Brian Butterfield. Brian Butterfield the fucking Reds. sent Pedroia on fucking one leg down the freaking line <laughs> when the guy had the ball already in his hand ready to throw it. And, and the Red Sox also interviewed him? No, he, no, 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 he used to. Base coach, he moved on to, uh, to the Angels. Okay. Yeah, fucking gone. I used to rip him apart. Every time I saw him fucking send somebody in there up by 25 feet. Not a fan of him? Nope, not a fan. Why? Just Abe's made... loves him, makes me even hate him even more. He's, yep, Abe's loves him. He just made, like, dumb decisions. He's aggressive. Yeah, he's aggressive. Let's fucking put the handicapped guy with a freaking wheelchair and just roll him down the freaking line, all right? Wait, why don't you like Pablo this guy? Sanchez. Because he's fucking awful at freaking third base. He fucking sends guys and you shouldn't send them. I mean, it's common sense. So he lacks common Even sense. Even you would probably stop the guy. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. That means a lot. Marquise Morris going back to the Lakers. Back Did to you the see Lakers. That the, him and the brother still share the bank account? Yeah, I saw that. He's making, what, 2.5. His brother's making 64 million over four years. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty good deal for Marquis. They share oh, a bank account? They what? share a bank account. That's fucked. Yeah. Well, why is that? They're like the same person. So like, throughout their, because they're twins. They're twins, yeah. yeah. So they played in Kansas together, then they both got picked up by the Suns at the, around the same time. Yeah. Both played for the Suns for a couple of years. Yeah. And so they've always kind of, you know, they, they, they're the same player, they're the same person. Mm. And so they share a bank account because they're quirky like that. That's hilarious. It's like how Clay Thompson's parents still control his bank account. Really? I don't know Clay if they still Thompson's? do. Clay Thompson's? But they used what? to. I controlled that shit. It's fucking sooner or later. I feel like that would cause a lot of problems if you share the same bank account. Like, hey, like, why do you spend that, all this money? Yep, welcome to marriage life. They don't care. But they're not married. They're brothers. Oh, yeah, they I'm just saying care. in general. You don't think there's ever any drama? Oh, no, big ass I bank accounts. Endless money. Nothing to worry about. It's not endless, but there's a shit ton in there. Yeah, it's never endless. I mean, ask Mike Tyson. There ain't no such thing as endless. Why? Mike Tyson went fucking broke. Yeah, oh, that's the other thing. We got to do our predictions on Friday on the Mike Tyson fight. When's oh, that? What is that? Saturday what? night. You got Nate Robinson versus Jake Paul. No, what? that's the fight before Mike Tyson's yeah. fight? Yeah. What? Yeah. What's going on, What kind of world are we living in that Jake Paul is the fight before Mike Tyson? I fucking hate Jake Paul. Nate Robinson why, and Glenn Davis, the Shrek and Donkey pick. That was all the time with the Celtics. Jake Paul is like the worst person. I'm still baffled as to how Gordon Hayward got that deal. Do you think he's worth it? No! No. no. He's <laughs> injury prone and he's mentally prone. Jordan sees something in him. Oh, I hey. Jordan's like, Jordan's mini Mila Mello is going to bring them another ring. Or do they even have what any do you rings? Mean another <laughs> ring? <laughs> do, does Charlotte have any rings? I hate. Okay. They're in the so West, they can right? bring them a ring. They're in the East? Yeah. I mean, I'm sorry, but they're not getting past Boston. They're not getting past Miami. They're not getting past... They, I don't yeah, even think they... Teams. They're not getting past Philly. It's not. Yeah. They're not even close to a playoff team right now. No. No, they have no one. You know, they might be able to get an eight seed. I would put 
the hawks over them. I'd put the magic over them still. I'd put magic. Yeah, magic. Magic are great. They have like Vucevic. They have um, like Aaron Gordon. They have some guys who are better than Gordon Hayward. Like, I think Aaron... who's the guy? Who was the guy that used to work here? Who was an Ma- Orlando Magic fan? Chris. That's it. Chris fucking Wall. Remember Chris Wall? He wasn't here for Chris Wall. No, he wasn't. Never mind. Yeah. You weren't here for Chris Wall. There was a guy who used to work here. His name was Chris Wall. John Wall's brother. Not even close. No. Couldn't even be his fucking twenty fifth ancestor. He would tell us he used to work for the Orlando Magic. Yeah. So he was a Magic fan. So I don't. I, I don't oh, know he did. What that, yeah. What did he do here? He did what I do. Okay. I did production. Cool. It'll be interesting. The East will be interesting. Yeah. I, think, I mean, oh, I Tristan Thompson of the Celtics. That's a big freaking move. Kardashians are coming. I didn't know if there's more to that story with Chris. Oh, no. It was no. just me just saying because he was talking about the magic. Oh, and just for some fan. reason, he reminded me of Chris. I don't oh, know okay. why. The same height. Yeah. Did it look similar? Well, uh, not really. No. The Undertaker officially retired from the WWE. I saw that. How well do you know WWE? Uh, so-so. I mean, okay. I know Ronda Rousey. Cool. I'm not wrong. It's you, would you consider The Undertaker to be a legend? Um, tell me a little bit more about him. Like I said, I know a little bit about WWE here. Will, you know anything about WWE? Nope. I don't watch WWE. What about you? No, nothing? We got nothing I think he's just like a well-known You're going to sit here and tell me you know about the WWE? Yeah, I used to watch it Friday Night Smackdown every Friday when I was in like Gee, elementary fuck, school. I wonder why you watched that because you weren't getting no Smackdown yourself. <laughs> I was like in fucking... <laughs> I was in like fifth grade. I was in fifth grade. Yeah, That's a thing still, to do. probably still watching fucking Scooby-Doo. <laughs> <laughs> Undertaker, legend. So well known you see, you don't even watch WWE and you knew who he was. I mean, I, it was on ESPN that he retired. I mean, it's all I yeah. thought. I mean, I mean, he fucking knew he retired than me to fucking watch us. Yeah, but I think the fact that you know his name, but you don't even watch it. I wouldn't know what he looked like. I wouldn't know what he looked like either. Oh, you don't know what he, really? No. If he literally walked past me, I wouldn't you know would who he was. You would know who he was. No. If he did. Yeah. No. Yeah, but if you said Hulk Hogan, everyone knows who Hulk Hogan is. If he walked past us, if he walked past you on the street, you would know who he was. That's all we got to talk about today. <laughs> Make sure you send in your advice to Casey at Lumberland.com. We got a snack time coming tonight. We got some sunflower seeds, another brand. Mm-hmm. We won't tell you what brand, so you're going to have to watch and find out. And um, I'll give you a hint. The guy works here. Thanksgiving picks tomorrow. Yeah. Thanksgiving picks. To- wait. Yeah, Thanksgiving yeah. picks tomorrow. Turkey versus stuffing, green beans versus cranberry sauce. No, I'm just kidding. Maybe we'll do some Thanksgiving TikToks today. Maybe. Um, yeah. All right, cool. Maybe not. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Blossoms. Oh.